Pseudoephedrine is used to temporarily relieve a stuffy nose and sinus pain or pressure caused by infections like the cold or flu, as well as other breathing illnesses like hay fever, allergies, and bronchitis. It works by narrowing the blood vessels to reduce swelling and congestion. If you're using this medication without a prescription, it's important to carefully follow the instructions on the package and know when to seek medical advice. Cough and cold products have not been proven to be safe or effective in children under 6 years old, and long-acting tablets or capsules are not recommended for children under 12. Do not use pseudoephedrine products in children under 12 unless directed by a doctor. It's important to follow the dosage directions carefully to reduce the risk of serious side effects. Do not use this product to make a child sleepy, and avoid giving other cough and cold medications with similar ingredients. Instead, ask your doctor or pharmacist about other ways to relieve cough and cold symptoms, such as staying hydrated, using a humidifier, or using saline nose drops or spray. When taking a long-acting nasal decongestant, it's important to follow the directions on the product package. If you have any questions, ask your doctor or pharmacist. Take this medication by mouth with or without food, usually every 12 or 24 hours, depending on the product or as directed by your doctor or the product package. Do not take more than 240 mg in a day. Dosage is based on your age, medical condition, and response to treatment. Do not increase your dose or take this drug more often than directed. If you are using the liquid form, shake the bottle well before each dose and use a medication measuring device or spoon to carefully measure the dose. Take the capsules or tablets with a full glass of water, swallow whole, and do not crush or chew them. It's important to read the dosing instructions carefully for each product, as the amount of pseudoephedrine may be different between products. Also, avoid consuming large amounts of caffeine while taking this medication, as it can increase the side effects. If your symptoms do not improve after 7 days, worsen, or if you develop certain symptoms, seek medical help right away. Some common side effects of long-acting nasal decongestants may include nausea, trouble sleeping, dizziness, headache, or nervousness. If any of these effects persist or worsen, it's important to speak with your doctor or pharmacist. You should also stop taking this medication and notify your doctor if you experience dizziness, nervousness, or trouble sleeping. In some cases, you may notice an empty tablet shell in your stool when using this medication. This is harmless as your body has already absorbed the medication. If your doctor has prescribed this medication for you, they have determined that the benefits outweigh the potential risks of side effects. Most people who use this medication do not experience serious side effects. However, it's important to stop taking the medication and contact your doctor immediately if you experience any serious side effects such as persistent abdominal pain, rapid or irregular heartbeat, changes in mood, shaking, or difficulty urinating. Although rare, a severe allergic reaction to this drug is possible. Seek medical help right away if you notice symptoms such as rash, swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. It's important to note that this is not a complete list of potential side effects. If you experience any other effects not listed here, it's best to contact your doctor or pharmacist. If you are in the US, you can report any side effects to the FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088 or at www.fda.gov slash medwatch. In Canada, you can report side effects to Health Canada at 1-866-234-2345. Before using long-acting nasal decongestant, make sure to tell your doctor or pharmacist about any allergies you have or if you have had negative reactions to similar medications in the past. It's important to talk to your healthcare provider if you have certain health conditions, such as diabetes, glaucoma, heart problems, high blood pressure, kidney disease, overactive thyroid, or difficulty urinating. This medication may cause dizziness, so it's important to be cautious when driving or using machinery, especially if you consume alcohol or marijuana. If you have diabetes, alcohol dependence, liver disease, or other specific conditions, you should talk to your doctor or pharmacist about using this product safely, as it may contain sugar, alcohol, or aspartame. If you have a severe narrowing of the esophagus, stomach, or intestine, you should not use certain sustained-release pseudoephedrine products due to the risk of blockage. It's also important to inform your doctor or dentist about all the products you are using before having any surgery. Older adults and children may be more sensitive to the side effects of this drug, 
so it's important to monitor for any symptoms such as fast or irregular heartbeat, dizziness, problems urinating, trouble sleeping, or confusion. If you are pregnant, only use this medication if clearly needed and under the guidance of your doctor, and consult your doctor before breastfeeding if you are taking pseudoephedrine. It's important to be aware of potential drug interactions when using long-acting nasal decongestants. Certain medications may change how the decongestant works or increase the risk for serious side effects. It's crucial to keep a list of all the products you use and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Do not start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. Taking MAO inhibitors with this medication may cause a serious and possibly fatal drug interaction. It's important to avoid taking MAO inhibitors during treatment with this medication. Most MAO inhibitors should also not be taken for two weeks before treatment with this medication. It's important to ask your doctor when to start or stop taking this medication. It's also important to check the labels on all your medicines, such as allergy or cough and cold products, because they may contain similar ingredients like decongestants. It's a good idea to ask your pharmacist about using those products safely. If you or someone else has taken too much of this medication and is experiencing severe symptoms such as passing out or difficulty breathing, call 911 immediately. Otherwise, contact a poison control center right away. In the U.S., you can reach your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. Canadian residents can call their provincial poison control center. Symptoms of an overdose may include slow or shallow breathing, hallucinations, and seizures. If you suspect an overdose, seek medical help as soon as possible. This nasal decongestant is meant for short-term relief only. It should not be used for more than seven days without consulting a doctor first. If you happen to forget to take a dose of the long-acting nasal decongestant, take it as soon as you remember. However, if it's close to the time for your next dose, then it's best to just skip the missed dose and take the next one at your regular scheduled time. It's important not to take a double dose to make up for the missed one. When it comes to storing long-acting nasal decongestant, it's important to follow the specific instructions on the product package or ask your pharmacist for guidance. Remember to keep all medications out of reach of children and pets. And when it comes to getting rid of the medication, it's important to not flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless instructed to do so. Instead, make sure to properly discard the product and it is expired or no longer needed. For more guidance on how to do this, consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.